everyone, it's Danielle. I'm back again to do another tutorial. Um, this is just going to be a look for hazel eyes. It's a very wearable look. Let me zoom in and show you. It looks like that. So if you'd like to see how to get that look, um, keep watching. Uh, new background over here, so not the white wall anymore. Um, I am sorry that... Hi, little kid. This is my son. Um, Sorry that I've been MIA for a while. I had a lot of um, dental work done and um, a lot of things going on with the family, birthdays, things like that. I know you guys, I put up a, a video of my, our San Diego trip, which was a lot of fun. And um, got some new things. I got, for my birthday and Mother's Day, I got the Sigma bag with the little kabuki and the Mira and the little pink travel um, brushes so I'm going to be using those throughout this video I also am going to be doing um, a review on those brushes so um, you guys can know about them so far I'm really really in love w with them um, we'll probably end up getting the professional set just because I love them so much so, um, like I said, if you want to see how to get this look for hazel eyes, just keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. I already primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to be taking Benefit's Tattletail as my cream shadow, and it looks like that. And I'm just taking my ring finger, and I'm going to be spreading this all the way across my eye. Now we're going to be taking, this is an Urban Decay color, and it's called Blunt, this one right here. And we're going to be using that on the inner corner of the eye with just a little shadow brush. This is the Sigma SS239. And we're just going to be placing this into the corner, half about halfway across. And I'm patting it on there. Okay, now we're going to be taking, with the same brush, we're just going to turn it over. We're going to be taking Urban Decay's color in Twisted, and we're going to be putting that on the outer side. Oh, Toasted, I'm sorry. Toasted is the name of that one. And that's the Pony Collection. And we're going to be putting that on the other side of the lid. Again, we're just patting that on there. Here it is. This is a little elf angle brush. It looks like that. And it's called their Defining Eye Brush. And we're going to be taking this next color, which is called Smog, which looks like that. We're just going to be dipping it in there and tapping it off. And you're going to want to start out on the corner, and we're going to go right into our crease. And see how nice this brush is made for that? And it's small. I really like it. I'm just going to turn it the other way just to bring that other color in. Little SS239 again. And I'm going to be taking take that blunt color again, which looks like that from Urban Decay, using that same 239 brush. And we're going to be pressing that under our eyebrow as our eyebrow highlight. And it's okay to get it into the brown because that will help you blend. Okay, now we're going to be taking the SS217. That's their blender brush. And, um, like, I really, really like it. And basically, I'm just going back and forth. Just blending out that line that we have there. Now we're going to be taking the mildew color and we're going to be taking it with the SS219 which is a little tiny pencil brush. So we're going to take the green because this look is for hazel eyes. And we're basically just going to bring it out like a V and bring it into our crease area. Not doing it too dark, but you definitely want to be able to see it. 
taking that same little brush, I'm going to just take it underneath my eye, going all the way across. meeting it on the side. I'm going to take a little bit of this screen from this Urban Decay palette. It's called Vert. With that same little brush. And I'm just going to emphasize right here in the eye. Like right under that darker green. Taking that 217 again. And I'm just going to be blending it out. Just so that we don't have any harsh lines or anything. And I'm just going to take my finger and pull up along the side, just in case any got along that side where, we're, where we really didn't want it. Now I'm going to be taking, this is one of the new Physician Formula, their um, gel liner. And this one happens to be the brown one, so you can see right there. And I'm just taking it with my Sonia Kashuk very small lining brush. And we're going to be lining the top eyelash line and you want to stay as close to the lash line as possible. So I'm going to pull out just a little bit and you always want it to be thicker on the outer side and go thinner as you go in. So just like that I'm just going to make a little bit of a V out of it. And then I'm just going to take it under, just really close to my lash line. Now I'm going to be taking, this is um, a Jordana um, soft coal pencil and espresso, which it's brown, looks like that. And I'm going to be lining my waterline. Sorry, you guys can't see. And I'm just bringing that into the corner there. I'm just going to be taking, this is a little smudge brush, and I'm going to be taking that mildew color again, and I'm just going to smudge it a little thicker under the lash line on the bottom. Because I really want that green to stand out and bringing it up. Okay, I'm going to pause to curl my lashes, and then I'll come back and tell you what's on the rest of my face. Okay, so here's the finished eye, and I think it's just really pretty for hazel eyes. Um, you know, um, I have yellowy hazel eyes, so I always like to have something that I can wear, and it's very subtle, and you can wear it during the daytime. And I'm going to zoom out. Take the clip out of my hair. And zoom in a little bit. For the rest of my face, I am wearing ELF's Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara in black. Um, on my cheeks, I am wearing, this is um, Benefit, and it has three different colors in it. I'm actually wearing Hoola for my contour, and I'm wearing Coralie Stuff for my blush. And then I am wearing Smashbox Artificial Light for my highlight on my nose and everything else um, on my lip Revlon number 75 in peach so it looks like that um, please rate and subscribe and oh let me zoom out a little more new background yay <laughs> not that crazy white wall so oh hey he's gonna say hi hi, hi. this is my baby he's five and um, so just let me know and I hope you guys are having a good time and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.